Hi guys, how's it going? Grab yourself a drink or a snack because I have a huge haul to share with you today. It's going to be some from my last thrifting video and some from a couple of other times whenever I was thrifting and never had a chance to share those items with you guys. And I'm not doing any retakes on this today, you guys. It's like what you see is me. And I'm gonna get started on this video in just one minute. I'll be right back. Hi everyone, my name is Melanie and welcome to my channel. On my channel, you will see me decorate my home with warm Tuscan and Tuscan farmhouse decor. A lot of the items that I use to decorate my home are items that I've purchased at Goodwills and thrift stores. Come along with me on my thrifting adventures and then I'll show you everything that I found in my haul videos. I love making my own beautiful floral arrangements, so I'll share with you how you can create your own step by step. At Halloween and Christmas, I completely transform my home with extreme decorating. I hope that you'll enjoy my content and become a member of my YouTube family by subscribing to my channel. Let's begin! For today's video, I'm going to be sharing all the items that I purchased from my last video that I never had a chance to share with you guys on that thrifting outing and also from a couple of other thrifting trips that I was on and never had a chance to share those items with you guys. So it's going to be a pretty long video, so I apologize in advance. So I'll go ahead and get started and don't mind, you might see my dog running behind me with a mouthful of food because this is her dinner time and she likes to carry her food whenever she's eating. Do you guys have a dog or a cat? If so, is your animal like that? It's She never just eats at her bowl. She always has to take a couple pieces onto the rug or into the living room and that's where she eats it. But anyway, enough about my doggy. Now I'll start showing you guys what all I purchased. And the first thing I'm gonna start with is this little item right here. And I think this is so sweet. I love this. This is, I don't know if this is old. It's probably not an antique, but I think it's so sweet. And I paid $3.99 for this at Goodwill, but I just really liked it. And I thought that it could be really nice beside that little coffee grinder that I just bought recently that I still haven't done anything with yet. But I don't know, I think it's cute. And it has a little lid and nice little spout. So that was one of the items that I purchased on one of my other trips. In one of my recent haul videos, I shared with you guys that I purchased, uh, I think it was two more, um, irons or maybe it was just one more i don't even remember now but um the antique irons but after that i went thrifting and i found two of the um little what do you want to call them um a trivet yeah that's what they're called um to put the irons on and they are so cute i love the detail on this one isn't that pretty? Look at all of that color. I love it. And it has that on the back. And this one, it was a little pricey, but I wanted it, so I bought it. And it was $5. But I don't know the age of these. I they might not be that old, but I think they're I think they're this one's quite unique. And then I also found this one and this one was from Humphrey Gas Iron and I did look this one up on eBay and the price that I paid for it is the price that it's going for on eBay and I paid $15 for this one and I thought it was a little pricey but I thought it probably has a little bit of antique value to it but I don't know it's kind of unique I had never seen anything with Humphrey Gas Iron before. Maybe you guys are familiar with this. Maybe you've heard of Humphrey Gas Iron, but I don't know. I just thought it would look nice to actually have a trivet to sit underneath my antique iron. 
These are so sweet. And I just found these today whenever I was out thrifting. I was out doing some errands, so I ran inside for a few minutes, but I think these are so sweet. These are nice little country placemats, very farmhouse. And these all four have a different pattern. And I'm not sure, these actually might have been handmade. And I just thought they were so sweet. But I paid $1.99 for the four of them. And whoops, sorry about that. There was my finger in the way. But if you're looking at these, I'm sure that you can figure out what drew me to these. <laughs> if you are a familiar friend to my channel, you're probably picking up on it right away. Did you see it? Yep, there it is. Whenever I saw the rooster on this placemat, I just had to have them. And the colors are exactly what I'm using to decorate my kitchen and dining room with this year. So, I don't know. I thought they looked pretty cute. Do you remember my shield? <laughs> I, yes, I bought this. I could not pass this up. This is going to look so great in my home. And here, let me see if I can get you a really good view of this. But I don't know if I'm going to place this on my wall or if I might just kind of lean it against maybe my fireplace, hearth. I'm not really sure yet, but it was $8. It was kind of pricey, but it is large. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see where I decide to put this. And one minute, I'll be right back because now my doggie has to go outside. Hopefully now she'll be happy for a while. This next piece I'm gonna share, I'm sure that there are a lot of farmhouse friends that are going to love this piece. Whenever I bought it today, they didn't even have it on the shelf yet. It was still on the cart, just waiting to be placed. And I love it when that happens because you have first dibs on it. So this piece is really great. Are you ready for it? It's a milk can. Oh, I love this, you guys. I think this is so great. And I envision placing this um, in a corner, maybe beside one of my dry sinks or beside my curio, maybe my baker's rack. This would look really adorable sitting beside my baker's rack. And it wasn't very much at all. Do you wanna take a guess what I paid for it? I paid $5 for this and I couldn't believe it. And I'll show you the picture. It has such a pretty farmhouse pattern on it. And it has the farm, it has the house, it has the cows. And I just really like this. And I didn't think the price was too bad. I mean, it would have been nicer. So sorry about that. It's, it's tin, so it's a little bit noisy. But it's really nice decorating with this kind of stuff too because it also can be used for storage, not just for decorating. And I haven't even had the top of this off yet. So let's see, maybe there's actually something inside it too, but no, nope, nothing inside it. But that's a lot of room that I can store some stuff that I don't want to have seen, or I don't know where to maybe put something. So it could work for candles or anything really. I really love decorating with lanterns. And if you're a familiar friend, then you've seen me decorating with lanterns many times. And I found two a couple weeks ago whenever I was thrifting and they're identical. They are oil lamps, but they're so charming and I can't wait to decorate with them. I have an idea, but I'm not 100% sure if it's going to work yet or if that's where I'm actually going to decorate with them. But they're dirty, but I can't wait to share these with you but this is my lanterns. And I think that these are probably actually camping lanterns. I don't know for sure, but I think they're cute. And I paid $5 each for them, but I thought the color would look so nice because I'm decorating with a lot of greens in my kitchen and dining room this year. So I'd really love to have these somewhere in my kitchen or dining room, but We'll see, I, like I said, I have an idea. I just don't know if that's, if it's gonna turn out the way I want it to look, but we'll see. And this one does still have some of the wick, but this one doesn't have any wick 
in it anymore. And they're really dirty. I'll have to clean them up, but I like them. I also picked up this cute little shelf at Goodwill and I don't know if I'm going to paint this or not because I really like natural colored wood or stained wood, but I mean, like I like to see the natural tones of the woods show through. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to paint this or not. Um, I think for now, I'm probably going to use it like this, but I thought this would look so nice in my kitchen, like stuck in a corner and I could decorate it. I could put some greenery on this, maybe even a little rooster. There's so many possibilities that I could do with this. And I think it was originally made to hang because there's little brackets right here. So that would even be an option. Like I could hang it in a corner somewhere in my home, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. And it is really dirty. It needs cleaned up, but let me see where the price is. I can't remember exactly what I did pay for this. It wasn't that much at all. It's just, it was $3. So that'll be fun. We'll see, we'll see what I do with it. This next item comes with a shout out. I know that sounds kind of weird, but one of my YouTube friends, I was watching their channel and they shared these in one of their haul videos. And I thought those are so gorgeous and I don't have anything like this, but the one day I was thrifting and I found these. And so I thought I have to have those because I loved seeing hers. And I'll tell you who it is. Maybe you guys are familiar with her channel, maybe you're not, but it is Marlene from the Buffalo Check Chicks. Now everybody, Marlene is so close to reaching 1,000 subscribers. And the Buffalo Chick channel is actually two friends that share that channel. It's Kathy and Marlene. And they, like I said, guys, they are just awesome. They both post videos. Um, doing different DIYs. Marlene does tons of Goodwill hauls, thrift store hauls. So if you guys love watching haul videos, let me tell you, you got to check her channel out because she is the queen of shopping hauls, you guys. So I will make sure that I link her channel below in my description box. And I'm also going to include a little picture somewhere on the front of my video here, right here somewhere, you're gonna see a picture of the Buffalo Check Chicks channel. That's kind of a tongue twister, but you'll see. And I'm sure if you, if you guys, once I show you, if you are familiar with her channel, you'll probably remember seeing these, but you ready? You probably already saw it there, but this is what I found. I love these. I actually think that Marlene's are a little bit taller than these, but I got a whole set of eight of them and that barely ever happens. And they were 99, I think, yeah, 99 cents each. I really need to start learning to wear my glasses whenever I'm doing these because I tell you, I am at the age I have to have my bifocals because I am blind as a bat. I can't read anything um, without my bifocals. Oh, icky. But yeah, I think these are so pretty i love the color and they are avon some people say avon some people say avon growing up we always pronounced it avon but whenever and that was back in pennsylvania and whenever we moved up here to new york there's actually a town and it's spelled exactly the same it's a-v-o-n but everybody pronounces it avon so you know, however you want to say it, but this is, um, it's their brand. So, but I think they're pretty and I don't know exactly how old they are. Um, actually Marlene might know, but I think they're really pretty. So, but if you haven't already checked out her channel, please check out the Buffalo Check Chicks channel. I've collaborated with Marlene a few different times and she is just such a sweetie. I just love her. So, and I think you will, well, I don't think, I know you will too. So now let's see what else I have. I, I'll be right back. I gotta go grab a couple of other things. This next item, if you're a cookie jar collector, you might be, um, you might know what these are. 
uh, but I thought that this was a beautiful piece and maybe you're familiar with Randsburg. So I was doing some research on this piece and it looks like it was from around the 1930s, 1940s. And I think that I got a fantastic deal on this because I was looking on eBay and Etsy to see what they were selling for. There wasn't a whole lot of them available, but there were a couple. So first I'll share the piece with you. I'll tell you what I purchased it for at Goodwill. Then I'll tell you the prices that I saw it for on eBay and Etsy. So this is the piece. And I think this is beautiful. And I've shared with you guys before that daisies are my absolute favorite flower. So I found this and I'm gonna take the lid off of it because I'm just, I don't want it to accidentally fall off, but I love this. So this is the cookie jar that I found. Isn't this beautiful? What do you think of this? I absolutely love this color, you guys. I think it is so, gorgeous. It's like a burnt orange and I, I love burnt orange. I love burnt orange any time of the year, not just for fall, but look at the color on this. Isn't that just so pretty? And these are hand painted, you guys. And I'll show you the inside here. I'm just going to come around and this is the inside and it's in really good condition for its age. And there is a chip right there in the paint, but that's okay. It's at the back. So that's a good thing. And here is the lid and it's just in really great shape. There's just one little, actually there's two little chips, but I don't know, I guess there's one right there, but they're, they're not visible as you can see. So you want to take a guess at what I paid for this at Goodwill? What do you guys think? At Goodwill, I paid $4 for this. Can you believe that? And I don't know if the felt was on there from the manufacturer or if the previous owner actually put the felt on to protect the surface. So, but that's that makes it really nice but I paid $4 for this. And whenever I was looking on eBay and Etsy, Etsy, I believe it was, wanted $85, and there was one listed on, I think it was eBay, for $45, but it was, I believe, the Hollyhock design. Um, similar um, shape, but it was just um, painted differently. The colors were different, and it had Hollyhock instead of the daisies. But I think that this is absolutely fantastic. And I already know where I'm decorating with this, you guys. It's not going to hold cookies, that's for sure. I'm definitely going to decorate with this. So have any of you ever seen this? I mean, are you familiar with this brand? I'd love to hear it if you are because I actually think I have a cookie jar that my mom gave me. And it's also very old and it was her mom's. I actually have it sitting up on top of my, um, my one cupboard and I'll show you here as soon as I'm done here. But, um, it was her mom's whenever she was a little girl. So it's very, very old, but I think that it might also be a Ransberg, but I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'll show you. Maybe some of you will, you know, know something about that, but I'll go ahead and show you. I'm going to take my camera off of the tripod and I'll show you that before I head on to my next item. So this is the one that was my mom's and it has a very similar lid and I don't know exactly what kind of a flower that is on there. It kind of almost looks like a poppy. What do you guys think? I mean, it is kind of chipped on the picture. I apologize. I don't really want to get up there and pull it down but I am really curious. I wonder if that's also a Ransberg. Have any of you seen a cookie jar like this? This clock is the next piece that I wanna share with you guys. Isn't this just my taste? I really love this. I found this a couple of weeks ago, so I apologize. I've already removed the price tag, but look at these sweet little grapes. Oh my goodness, I have a friend, a viewer that she is, I think, just as hooked on grapes as I am. She loves decorating with grapes and she knows who she is. I don't know if you guys 
mind if I mention your names on my channel or not? Because sometimes I would just like to say, hey, you know, look at this. Do you like this, these grapes? You know who you are with the grapes because we've talked about the grapes before and you are my kindred spirit whenever it comes to grapes. So, but you know, would you guys mind if I would like give you guys a shout out from time to time and just say, hey, how are you? Let me know in my comment box below, okay? But I think this is really pretty. And would you like to see where I placed this? We have a couple seconds. I won't take too long. I'll just, I'll make it really quick because I'd really like to share with you guys where I placed this, okay? All right, let's go do that. So this is where I placed it, right out here on this stand in my mudroom. And I apologize, I'm kind of a little bit shaky right now, but if you remember, whenever I shared my mudroom with you guys, I had a different clock. It was actually a two-sided clock, but I thought that it would look really nice to place this one here. I just felt that this one really ties in with my Tuscan decorating. What do you think? I also purchased those pit berries. I couldn't pass these pit berries up, you guys, and I still haven't taken them apart yet, but we're gonna do that right now, okay? We're gonna see what these look like. So I have no idea where my side cutters went, so I'm just going to use a set of my kitchen shears and hopefully I don't break them. So let's see here. And I paid $5.99 for the two of these. And, okay, it's sticking to me. Let's see. I might have to clip a couple of these pit berries off, but there we go. It's not too bad. Let's see. Not sure. So this is nice, this is long by the looks of it. I wasn't sure exactly how long this Pitberry garland was going to be. First, let me show you this, and then we'll take a look at the garland. So this is pretty. I'll fluff it up and maybe dust it off a little bit because it does look kind of dusty, but I think it's sweet. Wouldn't this look nice just kind of sitting on a counter or not a counter, I'm sorry. I'm like looking at my counter and talking at the same time. So it's like I'm saying counter. But wouldn't this look nice just sitting, you know, on a table or somewhere and then just to kind of stick a candle down inside or a lantern, wouldn't that look pretty? I think that would look so nice. And here is the garland. And look, it's like I'm losing, I'm losing pit berries here. But here's the, here's the garland. So this is really nice and long. But look at that. I would say that this is probably, a, oh, wow. So it's in two pieces. So that makes it nice. I don't have to clip it. I hate having to clip my Pitberry garlands, but once in a while you have to, but you never know. I still might have to end up clipping it wherever I want to put it, but so that's nice. Actually, this one actually might've already been clipped. I don't know, but those are nice. I think it's definitely worth the $6. What do you think? So for this piece, I moved my tripod because I'm gonna have to flip these over to see the back, but I had to have these, you guys. There is no way I was leaving Goodwill without these. There is a set of 11 of these, and I believe that they're chargers. The more I look at these, I think they're chargers. And I love this. Look at this beautiful pattern that's on these. And I only paid uh, $9, $9 for all of these, you guys. Here, let me get you a little bit closer. Look at that. Well, I'll show you after I open it because we are going to look at the bottom of this together because I think by the look of the... Um, the bottom plate, these were pretty expensive. And I don't know if that was an individual price or if that was for all of these. But we're gonna we're gonna take a peek. So here's the price that I paid. Oops, sorry, there's a glare. But so okay, so the price is on 
the bottom one. This one, you can't see it very well. This is who they were made by. And they are made in Italy, but the bottom one has a price that you can see really well. And it looks like it was $71 each. Oh my goodness. And look, these are numbered, you guys. Do you see that number right up there? I know nothing about these. And are you familiar with these at all? Have any of you seen anything like these? I mean, they're just gorgeous. And that one doesn't have a very good label either. So I'm just gonna kinda flip through here and see. I might have to get to the bottom one to see the price really good. I can't really see it really good on this one either. I'm actually gonna kinda just move these aside until I can get to the bottom one because I could really see the price good on this one. So, let me see if I can get you close enough. Or maybe if I flip it here. I'll be back in one second. There's my phone, one second. Like I said, no retakes on this one. So, sorry about that. So, look, these are saying $71. And this was like this on each plate. So if each one of these plate were $71, I mean, that is crazy. You can do the math, you guys. 71 times 11, wow. And I paid $9 for all 11 of these. So I definitely want to look later and see what I can find out about these because these are just beautiful. I love these. Won't those make a really beautiful tablescape? Oh my gosh, it's my wheels are turning. So I just want to point out real quick as I'm looking better here, they are a charger. It says a charger right there. So either way, plate or charger, they're beautiful. Sorry, you guys, but I had to go and get a soda. I've told you guys before, I am a huge Mountain Dew junkie. So I am so thirsty and I definitely need some caffeine. So I am going to have my beverage of choice. This is, this is definitely and probably will always be my beverage of choice. Well, sorry, tongue-tied beverage. Um, if not this, then definitely coffee, a coffee drink. Not warm coffee, just a coffee drink. That hits the spot. So for this next item, and I'm going to apologize in advance if I offend anybody with this item, but I love Halloween. And I know that a lot of people don't share that um, feeling. I, I know a lot of people don't celebrate Halloween and they don't like it. And that is absolutely fine. Um, I just like it because I think it's fun. I grew up uh, celebrating Halloween, you know, doing the trick or treating and everything. And, but I just, I think it's a fun time. So whenever I see items at thrift stores, I, and if it's something that I know I can use, I go ahead and pick it up because it won't be there the next time I go back. But I found this book box and I thought this was so cute and the price was great. It was only, $1.99 and for this one I felt that that was you know pretty fair because this size of book you know at like TJ Maxx or one of the other better stores can go for you know anywhere between 10 and 20 dollars sometimes even more but I thought it was nice and you can store stuff in these and I just I like decorating with purple and green um, at Halloween so when I saw this purple book box I had to have it, so, but now let's see what else I have in my little bag of goodies. I also purchased this. I thought this was cute. You know, it does have like a peacock pattern, but because I'm decorating with a little bit of blue in my home this year, you know, just add in a little bit of touches of blue, I thought that this would be so nice, but it was originally from Pier 1, the original price was $20 and I paid $1.99 for this. It would have been nice if there would have been two, but I can work with just one. This could be used under a vignette. 
and I think it'll be cute. So before I go on to my next item, I just want to say that in the next few weeks, I'm not sure exactly how soon yet because I'm just trying to get everything figured out, but I'm going to be making a big announcement on my channel and it's about my channel. So, but I don't want to give anything away yet. I just want to, you know, kind of put it out there that, you know, I'm going to be making this big announcement. So, um, you know, I hope you guys, I hope you really like this. So now for my next item, um, I bought this and I had to have this. I couldn't resist because these little, sorry, I hope I'm not vibrating my camera too much. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. I had a tickle there. Um, these kind of baskets are so popular right now and I I probably will take this out for now. I mean, I might let it in there, not really sure, but this this little bow is definitely not me. Um, it's cute, but it's just, it's it's not my colors. It's just not, it's not me. Um, so I, I'll actually just take that out of there right now. Um, there we go. So then you can see better what it looks like. And I paid $3.99 for this. But you know what I was thinking with this? And I'll show you. You wanna see what I was thinking? I'll just show you really quick, okay? So do you remember whenever I shared this yard cell flip that I made? So it hangs above this door, and this door goes out into my mudroom. So I was thinking, what if I was to hang this right here underneath that, sorry, my arms just aren't quite long enough and I don't have my tripod out on this area, so it's kind of difficult, but do you kind of get what I'm thinking? I thought that, that would look so pretty. And I was thinking like, what if I would use like, eat, maybe not the exact same kind of flowers that I did in the swag, but just complimenting flowers. And I thought that would look so pretty, but that's what I'm thinking for now, we'll see. I'm sorry if the bag might crinkle a little bit on this. I'll try to be quiet with it, but I found this, and this was at the Goodwill, and wow, I didn't notice this whenever I first picked it up, but the price is actually on it, the original price, and it's still in its packaging, and it's a pashmina, and it is so pretty, and I hope that there's not too much glare. I'll get a little bit closer, but it was regularly, look at this, it was regularly, $30. Can you see that? And I paid $3 for this. And it is just so pretty. Here, I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the plastic so I can show you what this looks like. Let's see where it opens up at. Actually, I'll use the scissors. That'll be a lot easier. Maybe. There we go. But this is so pretty. Isn't that a beautiful pattern? Oh, I just love that. Can you see the gold thread? And you can wear pashminas, but I love decorating with them. They look so pretty on a table. You can even use these as a table runner. They're just beautiful. But I love that. So pretty. I was so curious about my chargers, I went ahead and took a minute and looked up the website. Here's their website and their items from what I can see are absolutely beautiful. And it looks like that's all of my items. And please remember if you haven't already checked out Marlene from the Buffalo Check Chick, please stop over and visit her channel, her and Kathy's channel. Show them some love, tell them Melanie said hi, and let's see if we can help them reach a thousand subscribers. And also, if you have been watching my videos and you enjoy them, I would appreciate it so much if you could hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel because I am so close to 2,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. It's like, I, and that is all thanks to you guys. Thank you all so much.
who support me and watch me. It just, it, it just makes me so happy and I just appreciate it so much. You guys are so sweet. I love reading your comments. Please feel free to leave me comments because I love reading them and I don't always have a chance to answer them back, but I read every single comment and it just warms my heart. I just love it that you guys are inspired by my decorating and it just, it, it just means so much to me. So, but that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.